हेलो माय यंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम नवीन शर्मा एंड आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन लर्निंग क्लास ट्वेल्थ केमिस्ट्री इन द प्रीवियस मीटिंग वी हैव डन और वी हैव स्टार्टेड चैप्टर नंबर टू फ्रॉम योर एन कॉल्ड सॉल्यूशंस एंड वी हैव डन द मेथड्स ऑफ कंसंट्रेशन एक्सप्रेसिंग द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूशन अप टू मोलैरिटी ओके नाउ देर इज अनदर टर्म कॉल्ड मोलैलिटी देर इज अनदर टर्म called molality now what is molality this is the fifth method we have done uh, in the previous video up to four methods last one was molality now this is molality now what is molality molality is number of number of moles number of moles of solute number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent present in 1 kg of solvent so we can write molarity as nb what is b you already know this is represent solute number of moles of solute in wa wa is mass of solvent in kilograms but you already know in chemistry we do not take substances in kg or liters so we have to change this in grams and for changing this in gram we have to divide it by 1000 which comes into numerator and by opening the term for this number of moles we will get wb upon mb into wa into 1000 okay so this small m is called molality wb is called mass of solute mb is called molecular mass of solute and wa is called mass of solvent in grams because we have put 1000 here okay if we are taking the mass of solvent in kilogram then there is no need to put this factor of 1000 clear now what will be the si unit of molality or unit of molality it is number of moles in 1 kg of solvent so this will be mole per kg mole per kg okay clear okay student then we have another one more term called mole fraction mole fraction now how we calculate the mole fraction mole fraction of a substance is equal to the ratio is equal to the ratio of number of moles of that substance to the total number of moles present of various components like if i have to calculate the mole fraction of a now this is a symbol for mole fraction xa then it will be like number of moles of a upon number of moles of a plus number of moles of b if there is c also then it will be plus nc <coughs> okay if i have to calculate xb then what will be the formula nb upon na plus nb and there is one more important thing mole fraction of a plus mole fraction of b is always equal to 1 if there are two components in the if there are two components in the solution then mole fraction of one component plus mole fraction of another component is equal to 1 okay in fraction one is called 100% in fractions one is what one is 100% now let us solve few numerical problems based on these concentration terms few numerical problems based on the concentration terms Okay. 
so we have a question we have a question calculate mass percentage of benzene mass percentage of benzene in CCL4 mass percentage of benzene in carbon tetrachloride CCL4 if if 20 gram of benzene is present in if 20 gram of benzene is present in 122 gram of CCL4. Okay. So, what we have to calculate? We have to calculate the mass percentage of benzene. So, this is easy mass percentage of benzene can be calculated as the mass of benzene. What is the mass of benzene here? Yes, 20 gram upon total mass that is benzene plus CCL4 into 100 clear okay the next question calculate calculate the mole fraction calculate the mole fraction of benzene in solution of C 6 H 6 in solution containing containing 30 percent by mass in C C L 4 by mass in C C L 4. Now, what do you mean by benzene containing 30 percent by mass in C C L 4? 30 percent by mass benzene is what 30 percent by mass. So, this 30 percent by mass means 30 gram of benzene 30 gram of benzene present in 70 gram of C C L 4. 30 gram of benzene is present in 70 gram of C C L 4. So, what we have to calculate? We have to calculate this time what mole fraction. For calculating the mole fraction, we should know what are the number of moles of benzene? What are the number of moles of benzene which we can calculate by? the mass of benzene to the molecular mass of benzene is not it. So, what is the mass of benzene given here? It is 30 gram and what is the molecular mass of benzene C 6 H 6? How we calculate C 6 H 6 is the formula for benzene 72 plus 6 that is 78 gram per mole. So, 78 30 by 78. Similarly, we have to calculate the number of moles for C C L 4 also that will be what 70 upon the mass of C C L 4. What is the molecular mass of chlorine? It is 35.5. So, what does it become? Seventy by one fifty four. So this is how we will uh, calculate the number of moles. Then for the mole fraction of benzene C six H six, what will be the formula? Number of moles of benzene to the number of moles of benzene plus number of moles of C C L four. Now you can calculate it. Your own. Is it clear? We have number of moles of benzene here 30 by 78 you can put it in fraction only okay or you can change it to the decimal places 
and then number of moles of CCL4 are also known to you. Okay. Now, let us shift to the next numerical problem. This will be homework part for you, the next numerical problem. Okay. <clears throat> so, the next question is calculate calculate the molarity of each of the following molarity of each of the following. The first part is 30 gram of CO dot nitrate NO3 cobalt nitrate dot 6 H2O in 4.3 liters of solution. And the second one is 30 ml of 0 0.5, 30 ml of 0 0.5 molar H2SO4 in molar H2SO4 diluted to 500 ml, diluted to 500 ml. To solve uh, this part, you will need a knowledge of dilution formula. I am giving, I am telling you what is dilution formula. Dilution formula, what is dilution formula? Suppose if I have a solution whose molarity is m1 and volume is v1, and another solution whose molarity is m2 and volume is v2 and if I mix these two solutions, if I mix these two solutions, then we will get volume as v1 plus v2 volume will get added and molarity be like capital M. We can write it as m1 v1 this plus m2 v2 is equal to m bracket v1 plus v2 this is the dilution formula okay and second part second case if i have a solution whose molarity is m1 and volume is v1 and if i add some more liquid into it some more liquid into it, then it become molarity is become capital M volume V 2 is added here V 1 plus V 2. So, formula become M 1 into wait a second. Suppose, the molarity become m 2 and here volume also changes to v 2, then the formula becomes m 1 v 1 is equals to m 2 v 2, formula becomes m 1 v 1 is equals to m 2 v 2. Now, this will be applicable in this second part. Okay? <coughs> 